Hey everybody, welcome back to 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. Today we have California Dreaming from the Mamas and the Papas. It's got a great guitar intro. It's got some nice easy chords to strum through. Go ahead and grab your capo at the fourth fret so you'll be in the right key. But let's get started with the intro. Here it comes. intro is based on A minor chord, so put the capo on the 4th fret and grab your A minor chord, but leave your index finger off. When I refer to fret numbers, they are relative to the capo's position. So when I say fret number 1, it's really fret number 5, okay? But I'm going to call it fret number 1, fret number 2, and so on. Okay, so we have our A minor grip, capo at 4, index finger off. Pretty easy so far, those first four notes. Don't worry too much about the downs and ups. Do what feels natural, but definitely make sure you, you know, mix up the downs and ups a little bit. The next notes. Notice I used my pinky finger, second string three. Now I do put my index finger down, second string one. And then the open second string. I kept those fingers down. You know why? It sounds so nice to have those notes humming along. Even while I'm playing the other notes, right? Creates a great effect. Now. Uh, what I just showed you happens a total of three times. As it begins the second time, the first two notes begin. Right after those first two notes, a second guitar part comes in. Okay, now let's talk about that second guitar part. It starts on the first string. I recommend using your ring finger in that three right there. Now watch this. I use my ring finger on the third string second fret because I want to put it back down there when I strum this great E chord in E7 with a suspended four. Okay, uh, the, the reason why I'm using that combination of fingers will become more obvious once we get into the strumming, okay? So, the second guitar part. Ring finger. Ring finger down. And there's my chord. Now, if you listen closely, there's a third guitar part that comes in just in the last few notes of, uh, of this riff, right before the lyrics come in. Uh, the last few notes, you hear a... So let's just finish that off. What it is, it's a 7-3-5. Uh, okay, that joins in at the very last moment, you know, 7-3-5. Um, so if you've got three guitar players, now you can nail the whole riff. Okay, so let's get into the actual strumming of the tune, and we'll be talking about that, uh, that great E7 suspended chord. Here it comes. Now, let me give you some tips for your fretting hand and for your picking hand that'll make the song a lot easier. First of all, the G major chord. Definitely use the second, third, and fourth fingers to free up your index finger. This has to do with the chords that are going to precede the G and the chord that comes after G, okay? Even if this is a challenge at first, you definitely want to master this way of doing G uh, for a lot of songs in the future, not just this song. Okay, other tips I have for you. The uh, E7 suspended 4 chord might not be a chord you've ever used before. I have to admit, I never used it before this song, but it's an easy chord. You definitely want to do it with your second and third fingers, okay, for a lot of reasons, because many times you're coming out of the G major, but also the very next chord often is a typical E7, and the middle finger can stay there. Now, for most of you, the big challenge of this song is not going to be any of that stuff. It's going to be the F chord. Now, I'll show you how I do F for this song, but in the description of this video, I'll include a link on uh, my video on a variety of ways to play F. What I typically do, my favorite way of playing F, does not involve this big bar thing going across. I don't even recommend that chord in general. For this song, I'm going to be doing a little bar across the two treble strings, and then my middle ring and pinky fill out the rest of it, okay? You're welcome to do the bar, you can do F however you want. You can even do an F major 7. It actually doesn't sound half bad for this song. Open first string, index first string, uh, sorry, second string first fret, middle finger third string second fret, ring finger fourth string fourth fret. We avoid the two bass strings, and F major 7. That wouldn't be my first choice, but it does work for this song pretty well. Harmonically it works okay. All right, so those are my tips for your left hand. Uh, one more tip and it relates to the right hand strumming. You notice what I was doing? I was going down, down, up, and on that upstroke my left hand was leaving 
so I can get to the next chord in time, okay? So yes, you are technically hitting open strings on an upstroke before you get to the, the next chord. But you know what? It doesn't sound half bad. Everybody does it. And it's a way to facilitate a timely chord change. How does that sound? Facilitate a timely chord change. Uh, but hey, that's what you're doing. Okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing. I encourage you to do it too. So let's start from the beginning. We have uh, all the leaves, right? All the leaves are G. F. And the sky is E suspended. Seven down, down, up. Now F major right on. I've been, I've been. C on the word walk. Walk. E seven. A minor. On a, here's F on the word winters. Winters. E suspended. To E seven. I'd be safe in. Here's the A minor again. This is going to feel a lot like the beginning. One, G, F, if I was an L. Right on L-A, guess what? Middle finger stays, right? Isn't that convenient? E7 e suspended four. Right on L-A. L-A, E7, California, A minor. Nice, huh? There you go. So, a couple of new chords, possibly, for some of you. Like I said, that E7 suspended chord is a new one for me. But hey, now it's part of my repertoire. I love it. Now it's the favorite, my favorite part of this whole song is nailing that chord, which is the chord we heard from the very uh, beginning at the intro, right? Remember the intro? Ah, oh, what a great chord. Okay? Now, if you don't have a capo, no worries. You can learn the song without a capo. But if you want to play along with the actual recording, capo at the fourth fret. By the way, you might know that Barry Maguire from Eve of Destruction fame, he recorded this song. Uh, and if you want to play along with his version, you want to put the capo at the fourth fret as well. And what you should know is it's the exact same backing track. It's even the mamas and the papas singing in the background. Uh, same everything, um, but Barry Maguire's vocals on top. He recorded it first, and the mamas and papas did their own version. And one more piece of trivia. Barry Maguire had a harmonica solo in the middle. And the mamas and the papas have an alto flute solo. So there you go. Can you tell I spent a little time on Wikipedia? There you go. I wondered, what's that cool sound coming from the middle of uh, the mamas and the papas uh, track? Wh who's playing that solo? What kind of instrument is it? And there you go. According to Wikipedia, it's an alto flute. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Don't forget to check out my website, song-bike.com. You can become a member for 10 bucks. Lots of great videos. Don't forget to like this video like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you tomorrow for another riff of the day.